Hi, I'm Victor, and today we are going to go over how to install the Slack integration for Virtual Agent. This is applicable for the Rome release, and uh, that is what my instance version is on. The first thing you have to do is install the conversational integration with Slack plugin. So you can also install the store app in the ServiceNow store. Uh, here it is, it has some release notes, uh, but you can also equally install it in the plugins page. You'll notice that the version at time of recording is 3.0.0, so make sure you have the latest version to keep up to date to any bug fixes and enhancements we may have. So after you've installed this, where you want to go is the messaging apps integration page. And once you've installed the plugin, you'll see this button available. If you have not installed the store app, then you won't see this button, but here it is. Before we click install and go ahead with the integration, uh, you do need your own Slack workspace. So this is one that I've created, a personal workspace, fine. You don't need a corporate Slack workspace. And you can see that the user here is Amy. And uh, in her profile, she has this email address. This is going to be important when it comes to uh, linking up the user. So when you go to the users table, you want to make sure that your user, whoever it is, in this case, Amy, also has a safe email address. That's how the integration is going to tell uh, which user switch. So with that, let's go back to the apps integration page. Let's go ahead and click install. Now, once I click OK, it's going to find the, uh, the workspace that I'm logged into, which is SNVA test. If you have multiple workspaces, you can go here and, and, and add another workspace. But in this case, this is exactly the, the one I want. So I'll go ahead and click Allow. And that's it. I've in successfully installed the virtual now, a virtual agent integration with my workspace. If I were to click Manage Apps, it'll take me back here. To this page, I do want to make sure that enable notifications and automatically link ServiceNow user profiles is checked. And you'll see that one workspace installed, which is this one. You can install multiple workspaces to this instance, to this Victor Chat instance, for example, but the vice versa is not true. In other words, I cannot install this workspace to multiple instances, like say a sub prod, a demo, and a prod. Can't do that. So now let's go back to our workspace here. Now let's go ahead and add the ServiceNow app. Okay, it's already added here, but if, I, if it wasn't here, I would have searched for now virtual agent. And there it is, and I'm gonna go ahead and add it. And this is an old conversation, but so I'm gonna start as if I'm brand new and I'm gonna go ahead and type hi there. And uh, because I've automatically linked my user profile, it should be able to, uh, here it is. It says, hello, Amy. It knows I'm Amy because again, it's linked uh, to my uh, ServiceNow or it's linked to the user email address. These are my requests. And I can now run these different virtual agent topics. You will not see promoted topics, uh, unfortunately. That's uh, an enhancement that's coming on our roadmap. Uh, that limitation applies to Teams as well, but again, it's coming. Uh, but you can run almost every other topic. AI search works here as well. If I say I have issues with my printer, it'll use either keywords or NLU to run my printer issue. I could then select uh, what issue I'm running into, and it'll run the topic. Is there anything else I assist you with? Uh, nope, and that is it. 